and friends, I'm Tyler Grant. Welcome to the Monday Night Play Along Jam. Great to have you here with us. So here's how it works. Um, I give you a quick run through of the song and I will play a sample kickoff and then I will count you in with the click track here and you will kick the song off. That means play the introduction of the song, which is usually a version of the melody. So the song we're going to start with is called Worried Man Blues, and here's how it goes. And then as we, you know, you're going to kick the song off, and then we're going to sing a verse in the chorus, and then uh, I'll take a solo or a break, and I will cue that. And then we'll sing another verse and chorus that I'll cue you to play a solo or a break. During this time, you can practice your rhythm, you can practice your lead playing, and you can practice noodling all over the vocal, which is a fun thing to do. And if you do that really tastefully, we call it instrumental backup. So I'm here to practice with you. And this song is called Worried Man Blues, and it goes one in the key of G, one, one, and one. Takes a worried man, then back to one. One and a one, one and a one to the five, five back to one. And if I'm kicking it off, I might go something like. happy everyone settled in everyone in tune let's go ahead and play worried man blues and you're gonna kick it off at a nice slow tempo this being the slow jam in the key of G a one two one two three Worried man to sing a worried. 
worried song It takes a worried man To sing a worried song It takes a worried man To sing a worried song Check. Yep, stream health is rocking. Our internet is working really well tonight. We figured some things out here at the house, the old adobe cabin in Hamul, California. I'm hanging out with my mom this month and and working on music quite a bit. I've had a real inspired week. Uh, I'm trying to write some songs and be creative and, uh, you know, all kinds of things going on in the world. But glad to see everybody. How's everyone doing? We got lots of folks tuned in. Just breathe, Matt. Thank you so much. Phyllis at the cupboard. Jesse Davis, Lee Stivers, Matthew Coleman, Colin Burns, Clark, James from New Jersey. All right. James Hannaway, Lisa, David. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. Thank you for all the support. Uh, you know, every now and then you're faced with little challenges and it kind of helps you realize that it doesn't really matter that much, but I'm trying to be consistent, trying to be here as advertised. All right, next on the list, Before I Met You, a lovely waltz from Lester and Earl. And we threw this in a few weeks ago, and I wanted to uh, just kind of review it with you. Um, I like to kind of, some songs I'll do one week and then the same song the next week. Sometimes we'll give it a break and come back to it. Anyhow, this is a great little number in G. It's a waltz, and it goes. One to the four, back to one, one and a one to the because it just goes down the major scale starting on the third so it goes <laughs> so you can dress that up any way you'd like for the kickoff and let's go ahead and find a good tempo being a waltz, I'm going to sort of crank this up so we hear one click per beat. Uh, 111, hey, it's 111 today. That's too slow, though. This is the slow jam, but we don't have to go too slow on this one. Okay, so I'm going to count one, two, I'll give you four measures, and then you kick it off, okay? So here we go. 
That was Before I Met You in the key of G. One, two, three. little number. Oh, thank you, friends. Howdy, friends. Howdy, friends and neighbors. Howdy. It's great to see you here on the Marthy White with Hot Rise, Grand Old Opry Show. I don't do a very good Lester, but a lot of people like imitating Lester. Uh, some old days, speaking of Lester and Earl, I don't know. I mean, of, of, the, of the many things that have lived on into this age of YouTube and uh, all the media, um, online media, I think Flat and Scruggs still kind of own it. You know, all those videos are still up, those great Grand Ole Opry shows. It just goes to show you uh, the strength of the content they were putting out. So I've been on a Flat and Scruggs kick, um, as usual, and I thought we'd do some old day. And in G, it goes, and a one and one and one to the four. And a G, and a G, to the C, back to G, and a G, quick A7, D7, 1, end of the 4. Some all day, long 4 chord, play for me. Thank you. 
seven to the five. It does that every time it goes to the five. And then it's back to the same as the verse. Up to the four, back to one. And a one to the two, five and one. So in theory terms, you wouldn't necessarily call that the two, you'd call it the five of the five. But in bluegrass terms, when someone shouts two, it usually means it's the dominant chord or the major chord, either one, that's on the second note of the scale. So your two generally in, in G is this A7 going to the five. So kicking it off, I might go. that two chord too much when you're playing your melody. Just kind of play the melody and let the two chord kind of go by. You know, jazz players and improvisers like to outline, you know, the notes of those, uh, those chords, those secondary dominant chords. I'd say just stick to the melody and see what happens. All right, good old number here from Lester and Lester Lesterloo. He almost had a British accent mixed with a Southern accent. Just Quite the MC, Lester was. All right, so this is a nice, slow, rollicking number. Even slower than that. And we are in the slow jam. So this is kind of the actual tempo of the song, almost. All right, so kick us off on some old day in the key of G. A one, two, one,
great song. And I don't think anyone requested that. It just kind of popped in there. And I, I failed to mention before we started that we were doing sort of the streamlined version. We straightened it out. Kind of like uh, like Tony Rice and uh, and the J.D. Crow. I guess that's another reason I thought of it. Is that Tony Rice version with J.D. Crow and the New South from the 1975 uh, album. Uh, the Flat and Scruggs version, if you if you listen to it, when they go to the chorus, it goes, Some all day, your way, it, it's kind of crooked. Some all day, your way for me and pray. So we did the straight version. So I guess you figured that out. Okay, good song. And when you're singing big harmonies on that, it's super fun. I hope you all were singing harmony. Okay, John Hardy was a desperate little man, and we are going to do this as an instrumental, okay? Um, and this is a really fun instrumental. Uh, it's fun to sing too, but we're going to pick it as an instrumental. It's, it's taken up the, uh, the tune roll here in our set list. And it's in the key of G, and we go up like this, up to the four. Four chord. If I'm playing that, um, I'm usually doing something like... interpret that in lots of different ways. So that long five chord is really a fun place to kind of experiment, jam. And we're going to do this as an instrumental and um, the way we'll do it is just one time through the form. Sometimes you play it twice through but this slow jam let's just do it one time through the form and I will kick it off. And I'll kick it off by playing taters to count you in. Okay. I'll play it through, then you play it, and we'll go three times each, okay? Me, you, me, you, me, you. And then you tag it at the end. No singing, just picking. And I think this is a pretty good tempo. And here we go on John Hardy. I'll, I'll kick it off.
Let's sing it one time, just one verse. Well, John Hardy was a desperate little man, strapped on his guns every day, shot down a man on the West Virginia line. You ought to see John Hardy get no Lots of different versions of that song, of course, and it comes from where? Carter family, of course. And um, lots of folks learned the Tony Rice version where he kind of adjusts the melody to make it a little more singable, which is really cool. Um, but I just like picking that one as an instrumental. I wanted to sing one verse just so you can kind of put it all together. How's everybody doing out there? Hey, Matthew. Hi, Richard Burkett. Thanks for tuning in, my good old buddy from San Diego. Hi, Jack. Hi, Terry. Ansel from Japan. Ansei. Ansei. Yonezawa. Um, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing that correct. Thank you so much for playing along. Jim in Northern Ontario. Very cool. John from Buffalo. Hi, Alex. Hi, Rob Miller. Hi, Evelyn. Cool. Well, thanks y'all so much, Rebecca. All right, I'll be getting back to y'all. Uh, in time here. Uh, let's just keep on picking since we got a little bit of a late start tonight. Gold watch and chain. All right, in the key of C. Um, I've been working on lightening up quite a bit, you know, in this new year. That was part of my resolution. Um, I was out rafting quite a bit in the summer and, um, and, and, and playing outside and kind of playing loud and trying to be heard, you know. And, uh, and getting into that kind of digging in feeling. And, and I realized that even when I tried to lighten up, I, I was kind of struggling to do so. So, you know, this whole past week, I've, I've really focused on that, I really stretched quite a bit in the evenings and um, tried to come at it, you know, with a, with a real light touch and get some of that kind of graceful fluidity back. Um, and again, this is partly inspired by Tony Rice. You know, when somebody uh, who hasn't really been on the scene in a long time um, and you, you kind of don't think about Tony a, a whole lot more than normal because you haven't seen him perform in so long or he hadn't, he hadn't been active. Uh, he hadn't appeared since his in, in Hall of Fame in, induction speech, which was, I think, f three or four years ago. Um, and then he passes and you really start thinking about him a lot. Anyway, this is what I've been going through. It's almost kind of brought me back closer to Tony and all the connections I had through the guitar. And one of them is, is just his graceful touch. You know, when Tony's playing on those albums, he's not playing very hard. He's, he has a very light touch and, and he uses the acoustics of the guitar and the microphone um, to, to make that sound bigger um, than the sound he's actually putting out. That's, there's something about tone on your instrument. So anyway, that's something to think about. Uh, Gold Watch and Chain in C. Um, it's a 4-1-5-1 the whole time. So it starts on an F chord and it goes in C. I'm going to shout the numbers. And a 4 and a 4 back to 1. And a 5 and a 5 back to 1. And a 4 and a 4 back to 1. And a 5 and a 5 back to 1. So, thinking about the melody, the melody of this song actually goes... Uh, that's how the melody goes. But when I'm taking this all the way back to the Carter family and Mother Maybell's kickoff, which, you know, I like to imitate because I'm a big fan of Mother Maybell, she does this. She kind of has her own little thing. Adjusting the melody for how she likes to play. So, however you like to kick it off, that's how it goes. And why don't you go ahead and kick us off here. Uh, on Gold Watch and Chain. I'm going to slow it down just a tiny bit, get everyone comfortable, make sure you get all your licks, all your good little figures in there on this song.
Gold watch and chain in C. Kick us off. A one, two, one, two, three. the cues this means we're ending it like a foot kick and this means that we're tagging it okay so trying to be clear about the endings so we can all end together all right 
Uh, moving right along, nine pound hammer. Uh -huh. Good old nine pound hammer. I figure everybody loves picking on nine pound hammer. And let's find a nice slow tempo. A little too heavy. But for my size. But for my size. That feels about right. Slow it down just a touch. Make sure you get all your fancy licks in there that you want to play. And this one, since there's so many short verses, we can take it around a couple times. So we're in the key of A, and that means I am going to capo 2 and play out a G position. And nine pound hammer, it just goes simply like this. And a one, to the four, back to the one, to the five, back to the one. That's the whole thing. Roll on, buddy, up to the four. it off I'll do something like so good one to get your bluesy licks in right And also fun to check out that, that early George Shuffler version if you're, if you're a guitar player. Um, if you're a banjo player, you know what to do. <clears throat> um, I'm have a sip of my tea here. Stay hydrated, folks. All right. Kick us off on nine pound hammer in the key of A. One, two, one, two, three.
He can make that tombstone out of number nine coal. Out of number nine coal. Roll on, buddy. Don't you roll so slow. How can I roll when the wheels won't? jamming on that one a little bit very cool nine pound hammer so if you're jumping in here uh, looking for the mid-tempo jam we're still on the slow jam we got three songs left and uh, after that's done uh, we'll do a quick changeover and start a new video for the mid-tempo jam so either way stick around we're moving on up into mid tempos as it is anyhow so here's where the soul of man never dies in, I'm sorry, I'll stay around in the key of A. So, <clears throat> um, I'll stay around, key of A, another good old Flatten Scruggs number. Um, <clears throat> and it goes, one and one and a one, long one. So if I'm kicking it off, I'm going to go... Those little turnaround licks are the ones that kind of you need to do something with. That would kind of sound, I mean, it's the melody, but you're going to try to do something different. You know, something. However you like to kick this song off, go ahead and give us your version here in the key of A. I'll just stay around. <clears throat> here we go. One, two, one, two, three.
three more songs left here. I know some of you have tuned in looking for the mid-tempo jam. Well, everything got started a little bit late tonight. Uh, thanks to Caster. 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 Caster's my multi-streaming platform, which uh, locked me out of Facebook. I had all these login issues and had to get my two-party authentication and all that business, and I guess it just kind of needs some time to accept the fact that it's really me. So we're just on Facebook tonight, and I will post these up on YouTube for our YouTube friends who don't do the Facebook. Um, so anyway, everything's a little bit behind, but that's okay. We got three songs left here in the slow tempo jam, um, which are kind of ramping up to the mid-tempo as it goes anyhow. And this one's going to be Where the Soul of Man Never Dies in the key of E. Now, I usually do this in E flat, but I checked out the, the Skaggs and Rice version because I was doing a bunch of Tony Rice tributes of course and notice that they're up in E so why not let's play this in the key of E like Tony and Ricky recorded it <clears throat> and here's how it goes and a one and one and one four one and a one and a five have that quick one four one okay and then the chorus holds the one in the beginning dear friends there will be no sad farewell they will all one chord to the five then you go back to the verse all is peace and one anyway that's how I do it so um, we go to those one four ones all the way through the verse, but then on the chorus, the first time through, we just hold the one chord, and then second half of the chorus, we do the one four one again. And I do a kick off that's kind of like. dedicate this song tonight to my good friend Perry, Don Perry Corn, who is finally home from the hospital, um, but he is in the process of saying goodbye to the world uh, with uh, the cancer that he was diagnosed with just a few weeks ago. So this is for you, uh, my boy Perry. God bless you. And let's do this song for you here. And we gotta do that a little bit quicker for Perry. I wanna keep it in the slow tempo zone, but here we go. Kick us off on Where the Soul of Man Never Dies in the key of E. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three. I'm on my way where the 
It just goes to show you that you can be happy and healthy and then it all can be taken away from you at any time. And uh, we're all we're all giving Perry as much love as we can while he is here. Rebecca in the key of B, written by the great Herschel Sizemore on the mandolin. And I don't know if we've done this on the slow jam yet, but I, uh, I wanted to bring this up because it's just a great tune that everyone should know. And there's always a way of playing it real simple. And going through a tune like this in a nice slow tempo is a great exercise uh, for those of us who already know the tune. Um, a great exercise for how to really get inside it and maybe find some cool lines within that that we haven't found yet. So it goes like this. In B, I'm capoed 
four and I'm playing a G chord, uh, but our key is B, and it goes uh, one and a one and a four, one, one, one and a one and five, 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 four and four and one. That's the A part again. So that's that kind of crooked little thing where the, the four chord happens for three beats each time going back to the one. Um, but you just got to get this tune in your head and we are one hour and six minutes into this live video. So if you don't know this tune, um, just come on back, you know, to review it. Um, this video will still be up on the page. And I believe I have this one notated. I might. Uh, hit me up if, if you want some notation. Um, working great this week. Thank you, David. Yeah, the, we, we just had a bad night of the internet last week for some reason. The Wi-Fi was not, it was intermittent. Uh, but ever since then, it's been really strong. So wonderful. Thank you for reporting. Um, okay, so let's play Rebecca in the key of B. Rebecca, I should say. Nice and slow. I'm going to kick it off. And why don't we play it through uh, three times? Hey, let's stretch it out. Me, you, me, you, me, you, and then you tag it. Okay, here we go. Rebecca by Herschel Sizemore in B.
yeah, I'm not sure what the best way to end that one is. Probably the good old bluegrass ending. <laughs> how Herschel ends it. That's just a great tune for jamming over those changes. It gives you plenty of time, plenty of room, and um, you know, uh, most players like to really riff on that. They don't really stick to the straight melody generally. And I'm not even playing the exact melody. That That's, that's a mandolin thing, an open B, um, that Herschel Sizemore composed, and I approximate it in my guitar version there. So make sure you check out that tune if you have not played it before. Okay, last song of the slow jam. And remember, if you're just jumping in, we started pretty late. Um, and so we're going to do this last song here in the slow jam, the official slow tempo jam. And then I'm going to shut it down real quick and come right back for the mid-tempo jam. Okay, and we'll go through all these set lists in good time. So this is doing my time, which is in B, and I'm capoed four again, like I was in that last song. And um, here's the thing, it's a 12 bar blues when we're singing it. So it goes, on this old rock pie, and it kind of holds a little while, with a ball and chain. It's actually not a 12 bar blues. But it has blues changes. Call me by to the five, back to the one, Lord, Lord. Now you go to the four. Gotta do my time. Back to the one. Gotta do my time. To the five. With an aching heart. And a worried mind. And depending on who's leading this song, that could all go on for a long time. You could hold any of those chords for any length of time and the vocalist cues you back in. So that one chord I'm probably going to hold for a little while longer than a 12 bar blues would be. But the four chord and the back to the one and the five, I'm going to keep those pretty straight. But here's the thing, when you're picking it, you don't pick over any of that. You pick over this short little thing. Da -da 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 -da. short version of the verse. That's all we're going to do for the kickoff and for the breaks. And then we have that longer form, which is kind of like a 12-bar blues for the rest of the song. <clears throat> so here we go. Since this is a fun, easy number, let's crank this tempo up a tiny bit. And let's play Doing My Time in the key of B. Go ahead and kick us off. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three.
couldn't quite reach the click to get that ending on time but that's how flat and scruggs end it uh sometimes you'll go back and do another to end it anyhow there you go doing my time see i've hesitated on that one for a while because of the sort of unevenness of it but i figured we'd run through it i hope that was fun for you it sure was fun for me i love that song um okay well there's the slow jam we did it all right thanks you all for playing along I'm going to shut this down just for a few minutes to set up the mid-tempo jam, and we'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs> 